Okay, welcome back lads to I'm out again and uh, just today I'm just sussing to see where I can uh, photograph in later stages. So it's a bit of reconnaissance and the reason I'm doing a reconnaissance is because it, the weather's so good at the moment so I just don't mind. I'm gone out again and I'm just wandering and I'm going to keep wandering. Just another thing to throw at you as well, don't forget always when you t you're taking photographs, there is ways of making a few quid out of uh, photography. And if you're just a pure amateur and you just want to do it as a hobby, don't forget the, um, the little delicatessens and little coffee shops. Uh, the ones which are sort of more yuppie coffee shops than... Um, more yuppie coffee shops than... Uh, just ordinary cheap copy shops, cheap, 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 cheap copy shops, and you can put a uh, paint or uh, sorry photographs up in these. Usually they're paintings, right? But you can put. Uh, I find that they take my good photographs. But the important thing is, there's two very important things if you want to be able to sell them, and one is that they have to be. They have to be um, framed well. Okay, now I actually framed and I've done framing on my own my own stuff. And there is in the when you when you get down to doing to doing the framing it's there is a little bit of an eye in it. Uh, like you can go out and buy frames quite cheaply these days, but they they're not made for your, your particular photograph. You've got to get you've got to get a mount, uh, or the Americans call them a mat, uh, and you've got to uh, right and they're usually um a double mounted mass uh, gives it it's a photograph a depth of field and you also got to have a, have a nice border sometimes the border a little bit bigger on the bottom rather than the top uh, the idea in the old days was the the painting would have been up a little bit higher than eye level so when you look up it just gave a proper perspective to the the painting so but with uh, photographs it obviously works just as well that way when you put them in these places if you put them into a small, a small villagey area, like where I'm in a village, a small town or wherever you are, make the photograph of that area. Don't take a photograph outside the area. Take the, I have to, I have to keep looking behind me, I'm sort of parked in a funny spot. Uh, you have to make sure it relates to exactly the closest to, the, to, to where you are nearly. Or if there's some monuments or old buildings or something artistic uh, related to the area. They will sell, but if you take uh, a photograph, a beautiful, beautiful photograph, but it might be of a city, uh, which you're not, where you're not actually in it, where the painting's not for sale, it doesn't relate and it won't sell. Um, I've gone through it and I made money that way, and uh, there's a few other little tricky things, but that's the basics. So don't forget about that now. All right, we we'll keep on driving now. Okay. Will you get in interesting, will you? Will you get in for the tea? I'm hoping it out.
you're waiting for a nice place or something off you. You're in a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, fuck that. After coming up the hill there. I'm not as young as I used to, I'm out of friggin' breath. I was gonna say to you, yeah, I just told that fisherman there, and I said, if you want fishing there, give me a nice place. And he says, the only thing you're getting is that you're in a nice place. So, no, uh, no place or salmon or in nice for the sea. Yeah. Thank you.